as you sit with your sun tray, I invite you to pay attention to it in a particular way. I would like you to try and use the, the be it model, which I'm going to describe um, to you in a moment. So be it is an abbreviation, an acronym, where B stands for body, body sensations, and E stands for emotions. I in it stands for intuition, and T stands for thoughts. So what I'd like you to do is, first of all, as you sit and look at your sand tray, to begin to pay attention to your body body sensations as you look at your tray what are you feeling in your body what kind of feelings are those feelings your body sensations whereabouts in your body do you feel them notice the quality of those feelings it could be a warmth or a coolness or tingling, a heaviness or lightness, prickliness. It could be an ache or pain, a sense of tension or relaxation. Whatever those sensations are in your body, just notice them without judgment without trying to interpret them. So that's B, body sensations. Next, I invite you to pay attention to your emotions. What emotion are you experiencing as you look at the sand tray or particular parts of your sand tray? Different parts may be connected to different emotions. So as you look at the whole tray, maybe you feel sadness or a bit of irritation or peace. Maybe focusing on specific parts of the tray, a different emotion arises, maybe anxiety or joy, anger, curiosity maybe emotion that doesn't have a name. So just noticing those emotions which may or may not be connected to the body sensations you noticed earlier. And once you've paid attention to your emotions, then allow intuitions to arise. So intuition is knowing without reason. It's when you know something, but it's a kind of a spontaneous knowing. You haven't come to that knowing through some logical sequence of thoughts. So you look at the sand tray and suddenly you know intuitively what the theme of this sand tray is. Or a knowledge comes to you about a particular symbol or particular aspects of the tray. Again, you haven't worked it out consciously, but it just pops up for you spontaneously, intuitively. So once you've paid your attention to the intuitions you have about the tray, and you have already felt the body sensations, felt the emotions and the intuitions, that's when we can move into thought. What are your thoughts about this sanctuary? Any logical or particular associations or memories that, uh, that come to you when, you when you look at it? And the reason I leave the thoughts till, till last is um, that we naturally are tempted to think about the sand tray and analyze the sand tray and try to understand the sand tray because we have been largely conditioned 
to give priority uh, to thinking. It is valued more highly in our education system, in our society. It's, um, thinking is valued more highly than emotions, body sensations, intuitions. Um, but the risk is when we jump straight to thinking, um, we don't give a chance to that unconscious, that bodily knowledge to arise naturally. Um, there is a risk that we may suppress our embodied knowing, uh, our embodied wisdom, which often carries a lot more useful information than what than our everyday uh, logical thinking processes do. Um, so thoughts do have their place. Um, so if you're interested in symbolism and you might want to learn about symbolism of different uh, symbols in your sand tray, um, then you might want to read up about it. You might want to do more study, more learning. And there's nothing wrong with that. I find it fascinating to learn about different myths and legends, about different archetypes, animals, magical beings, um, different heroes through history. Um, but that factual knowledge is not necessarily going to be directly helpful unless, first of all, you trust your body to feel into the sand tray and you trust your emotions to come up and give you that information from the heart um, and unless you first tap into that intuitive knowledge. Um, it may be that the thoughts that just march in uh, straight away into, uh, into your understanding of the Santry will prevent that other deeper knowledge from arising. So that is why I would very much encourage you to be with your santre, to be it, body, emotion, intuition, and only then thought. And it may take some doing, it may take quite a few attempts before it comes naturally to you, but you are likely to have a much richer and deeper experience with your santre if you use the be it model. Body, emotion, intuition and thought. And it will be much more likely that the thoughts and conscious associations that come up for you are going to be more relevant and useful to you than if uh, you allow your thoughts to intrude onto your experience of the Santre straight away. Um, so sometimes you know, it takes a little while to tame our thoughts because they, they used to be the primary uh, uh, method of understanding something in our society. But with the Santre uh, work, with any other creative work, let's practice and allow the body, the emotion and intuition to come first. And then you'll have a deeper and richer experience when working in the sand, whether for yourself or if you're practicing with clients for your clients' experience. So just be it.